Hi guys! My name is Annalyn Bailey and I'm the host of What's in My Bag? Let's go! Do what I do! Work like I still got something to prove! Let's go! All I do! Work like I still got something to prove! <laughs> All right, so today I am going to let you guys know some of the things that I carry with me on my bag. So it's the beginning of the year, people have New Year's resolutions, fitness is like at its pinnacle right now. So some of the things that I carry with me that only, not only enhance my training, uh, but there's also some things in there for like recovery or protection, you know, things that just make my training a little bit better. Well, first things first is you need a cool bag. <coughs> Not to toot my own horn, but we actually make this. This is our Jimbro bag. Um, it, as you can see, you can already see one of the things that I carry with me to the gym. Uh, we also have some other compartments that I'm gonna show you as I take things out of my bag and explain them to you. But this is our Jim Bro in snow cap. It's still available maybe, hopefully by the time you see this, because this is one of our hottest colors. But yeah, first of all, you need a cool Jim Bro bag. Go to flagnerfail.com and get yourself a cool bag. So we might as well start with the first one since we already see it is a belt. Um, again, the things that I'm gonna talk about, they aren't necessities. These are just things that are only gonna enhance your training or help you stay um, safe. Uh, this is the first thing that keeps me safe, especially on any kind of heavy movements, squats. Um, I'll wear it for bent over rows. I have had a, uh, a hernia and I used to not wear a belt ever because I used to think like, well, oh, I need to keep my core strength. Core strength is great, but you can keep core strength, but also keep your stomach safe um, by wearing a belt. Uh, I get better lifts, I'm stronger, it keeps my core safe, keeps my back safe. Um, so having a belt with me is definitely a top priority. So brand wise and like what type of belt, there are different types of belt. I like a good big power belt. Power belt is gonna be thicker, so it stays thicker around your stomach here. Um, they also have ones that you can kind of wear that uh, taper here. Uh, for me, I wanna keep my stomach safe, so I do the nice thick belt. This one is by Cardillo. Um, best belt, belt maker in the game. Oh, here it is. Look at that. This is like a, like a tapered version. This is more of a belt that you can wear for your full workout. This is more just like keeping your back, your lower back, nice and tight. Oh, no wait, here's another one. <laughs> oh, this one I think is available on Flag Fail right now, F-Y-K-E. Oh my gosh, we have so, what is happening right now? Anyway, this one is available, so if you, if you need a good thick belt, get off me. Flagnerfail.com, ultimate belts. I obviously have a lot of belts, but I always keep my favorite one. This one I've had for eight years. The more years, the better it gets. Oh my God, stop it! <laughs> that one is gonna hurt me. All right, next up, I have this little fancy pocket in this bag of mine, which holds my stinky knee sleeves. So you kind of want to keep them separate from all your stuff. So they go in that pocket, away from everything. Uh, knee sleeves, also, yeah, what name brand these are, we also make these. Um, they're just neoprene knee sleeves from Flagner Fail. Um, again, this is something I wear every leg day. I don't even feel safe not wearing knee sleeves. I remember the first time I put knee sleeves on and I squatted and I was like, what have I been doing? all of these years. I don't have any kind of knee pain, but they definitely make noises. I'm pushing 40 years old right now, so I wanna keep my knees safe. So the whole purpose is you put these on 
and you can wear them just for squats, but I actually wear them for my full leg day. It's gonna keep your joint nice and warm, and because they're nice and tight, they also keep your knee nice and tight. So as you're squatting, you're adding like some safety, you're adding heat and warmth, which is good for your joints. So these are another thing for knee health. Um, I would definitely recommend these. Um, anyone that has any kind of knee problems, start wearing knee sleeves. They help so much. All right, next compartment. We got a lot of leg day things, but <clears throat> here's another leg day thing. I mean, or if you're an Olympic lifter, again, we'll go back to this amazing bag that we have. Your shoe compartment, because you know, you wanna keep your stinky sh shoes away from your clothes that are in the middle. So, <clears throat> again, one of these things that can enhance your training and make it a little bit safer, uh, because when I'm squatting, like if you have a regular running shoe, you see how thick and wobbly that bottom is? You, this isn't really a training shoe. You can train upper body in that, but when you're training legs, you want something nice and sturdy. Like, that has a nice heel, so instead of having to get uh, plates under your heels, you can just get a nice, I call them squat shoes. Uh, these are the Reeboks. I don't know if they have a name. Uh, Nike makes a really good squat, uh, lifting shoe. If you are an Olympic lifter, then you probably already have these, but nice stable uh, ground, nice thick heel so that you're pushing through your heel. Um, but if you are someone that, you know, they are a little expensive, but I would recommend <clears throat> at least having some sort of good training shoe. If you do any kind of agility work or hit work, um, this is another option. It's not really like a squat shoe, but it keeps your foot nice and flat, little extra padding on the heel, so when you are squatting, you're pushing from your heel. But some sort of good type of training shoe, whether you want a squat shoe, I actually usually bring both of these, especially on a leg day. I squat in these, and then I wear these the rest of the day. Good training shoe. <laughs> We're gonna keep going with all my leg. I have a, I I obviously have a lot of little tools for leg day. Ugh, girls love this. Girls, you already know this. A booty band, also known as a hip circle. This is something I like to bring with me even when I travel. So sometimes I don't have the availability to go to a really nice gym. So even if I get my little hip circle out, I can do a little glute workout. So you put this little guy around your knees like so. And you, there's so many different uh, exercises that you can do to warm up your glutes, warm up your hips. So this is a great warm up tool and also a great tool to like help you focus on your glutes. So sometimes I wear this as I'm squatting because this is gonna make your knees want to buckle in so you actually have to work against it by pushing your knees out which when you push your knees out you're then using your glutes a little bit more so it's going to add a little emphasis on your squats with a little emphasis on your glutes when you squat plus a ton of different variations of exercises abductors lateral shuffles good way to warm up on a leg day is with a hip circle all right, next. It's not, well, technically I do use these on leg day as well. Uh, Versa grips. These are way, way better than wrist wrap or wrist straps. Wrist straps are the same thing. They go around your wrist and then you have to like wrap it around the bar. So these help you with any kind of grip. So back day, your back is much stronger than your arms, at least it should be. If it's not, you probably look a little weird. But when I'm going heavy, like on maybe barbell, barbell rows, the first thing that goes are my arms or my grip. So, uh, so my back doesn't actually get to that full failure because my arms have to let go or my hands have to let go. So in doing that, 
If you want to actually get that back growing and get it bigger, don't let your arms or your grip be your downfall. So you can use wrist straps. I just prefer these because they're way better. Basically, the bar goes in between here and you can do like one finger pull-ups. So maybe you struggle with pull-ups letting and your grip goes. You can wrap this around the bar and all you have to do, because it's rubber, it sticks to the bar really well and it takes the focus out of your hand. So now your less, less uh, weight is in your hand, which means less weight in your forearm, which also means less weight in your arm altogether so that you can focus on those bigger muscles. So if you want to get a little heavier, maybe you lack in some grip strength, try out some Versa grips. These are the best. Tell them I sent you too. Good family owned company. They're great people. Now that you're ready to work out, I know I said I was done, but there's one last thing. One, you better have your phone and then you're gonna download this app, DLB Daily. It is my training app. One of the best things you can do before even getting to the gym is have a plan. Um, so let me do the plan for you. I give you all of my workouts, super easy friendly, beginner to advanced friendly. So these are my actual workouts. So they, you know, if I can put some muscle on, you can put some muscle on. But I say it's beginner friendly because if you don't know what you're doing, you just watch the video and I will show you how to do it. So best thing to do before getting to the gym is have a plan. So download my app, download someone else's app, let someone do all the thinking for you so then when you just walk into the gym, you don't have to think. You just follow the program and that's make some muscles. We'll see you next time.